Skirka Aerospace is a manufacturer of electric machinery for aeronautical applications. Uh, it's located in Camarillo, California. Uh, there are 120 employees that work at the facility, and that's uh, engineering, manufacturing, and uh, associated support such as repair and overhaul and uh, customer service. With the advent of uh, Internet of Things and, and all of these uh, new digital technologies, we've recognized that in order to stay competitive, we have to provide control solutions with uh, em embedded software and in embedded systems included in them. Skirka Aerospace has used the ANSYS toolset for quite some time, uh, particularly for the mechanical and magnetic uh, design and simulation. And due to the integration that is available with SCADE, Simplor, and the, the rest of the ANSYS packages, it's, a, it's an excellent um, ecosystem for us to develop all of our products in a co cohesive manner. Whenever we receive a new specification from a customer at Skirka Aerospace, we will typically do some high-level modeling in SCADE and Simplor to understand whether the requirements are cohesive and, um, and consistent. So before we even go and provide a bid, we will use SCADE and Simplor to understand whether, whether what, what our customer is asking for is even feasible. And it gives us the ability to provide solutions and suggestions to our customers that ultimately enhance the quality and performance of their product without having to go through the growing pains of building the prototypes and uh, spending lots of engineering hours doing testing unnecessarily. We get to do that in a virtual environment. And uh, by, by exploiting that, we've been able to develop quite a few innovative technologies that, that otherwise would have taken two to three times longer to develop just by virtue of the fact that you'd have to build hardware. Skate and Simplor have helped us become more competitive uh, by virtue of the fact that we're able to provide real-time feedback to our customers. If we have a request for a particular behavior or a set of functional requirements, we're able to initiate that technical interchange with them through SCADE and Simplor models that uh, really validate that what they're asking for is what we're, what we're thinking that we'll deliver. The return on investment that we're seeing from using SCADE and Simplor is really that we take out an unknown from the development cycle. Because uh, when, when, we, uh, when we generate our, our SCADE model, we generate the same code that will be used in the embedded system and simulate that directly in Simplor. So when we, when we build a machine and uh, need, need to check the controls in the real target, uh, what, what we can expect is that it will behave the exact same way that it's simulated in the, in the sim, Simplor environment. So without, without needing to debug at least the high level application of the software, it allows us to focus on the places where we really do have problems. <laughs>